get the secret Santa party started. It's Christmas time. Merry Christmas from your secret Santa. That special time of year when people come together. A power drill. But someone has other plans. Oh, great. Exactly what I asked for. A meat cleaver. I didn't get you that. And it's brought their own version of holiday cheer. Gardening cheers? This Christmas. You better shout. You better cry. You better pout. I'm telling you why. Secret Santa has come to town. Hello and welcome to a uh, special holiday edition of uh, Sean Kelly on Movies Podcast. And um, today I will be uh, playing inter- interview I did um, at uh, Blood in the Snow 2015 for the uh, holiday slasher film uh, Secret Santa. Uh, this film is getting a DVD release uh, this week, so uh, you can... Um, listen to the interview and then get the movie, but uh, the interview does have uh, spoilers for the film, so it will probably be best to watch the movie first and then listen to the interview. I hope you enjoy my interview for Secret Santa. So, um, where did the idea for um, Secret Santa come from? Um, well, I, uh, I've i been working retail uh, for Christmas uh, a couple years ago, and uh, it was driving me nuts by the end, so um, I had a morbid thought, and right after I finished my Christmas season work schedule, I pounded it out. I had Annette, Annette Jeff, and Keegan. Uh, I'd already uh, been in my films before, so I wrote the roles for them, and uh just kind of kept giving them drafts and saying, what do you like, what do you don't like, and then we did our crowdfunding right. campaign and took off from there. Yeah. Uh, so what's uh, everyone's role? Um, I'm uh, Brent Baird. I played the role of Brian. Uh, I'm Jeff Almond. I play Dwayne. <laughs> I'm Maya. I'm production manager. <laughs> I'm Annette, and I played Nicole slash Naughty uh, Jackie. My name's Keegan, and I play Carissa. Okay. And uh, I'm Mikey McMurrin, and I'm director and writer. Yeah. So the, the film kind of plays around with um, some of the tropes of slasher films, and I was like, uh, such as the uh, final girl being a webcam model. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so, um, so, what made you kind of bend the rules like this? Um, do you know, it, I don't know exactly what it was. It's just I wrote the roles for the actors, and instead of doing an outline, I just started writing. And so it could have been it could have been anyone who survived. Really, at the beginning of the script, I don't know who was going to live and who was going to die. And just the the jokes that play on later, it just kind of all came together. Um, but it is interesting that Annette is the final girl, and she is kind of the naughtiest uh, of the of the movie. It's just really by chance, actually. And, and maybe you can comment a little more on, on that too. Um, oh. <laughs> Naughty Nikki. Um, I think it played out well because uh, my character was kind of foreshadowed a few things, I yes. think. Like little, little, little bits, maybe. I don't know if everybody can see it, but I did. Um, yeah, I just I feel like because my character had such a weird arc that it made sense for me to be the final character. Well, hi, hi. Um, well, it's kind of like it, it's interesting that it's like a, it's kind of like the film is kind of like setting up Olivia to be the protagonist and then she's pretty much the first of the group to die <laughs> yeah she uh, or, or the second of the group because of the, the one in the opening the, scene yeah, the, uh, it, yeah it was interesting I wanted to write a, a script where you know it, you wouldn't necessarily know who was going to live and who was going to die and try to surprise people or just really try yeah. to and that's why I wrote it without an outline is that I was like well I feel like this is the point where Olivia should die. This would be kind of unexpected as I'm writing it. And so 
that's that's kind of how it how it went. I hope it throws people off. I mean, we'll find out tonight at the screenings uh, with the feedback. Well, she, well, she she like she like receives a snow globe, and then next scene she's dead. Yes. <laughs> so at least she got that snow globe. Yeah. yeah. She got her present first. She had a little a little pleasantry before she got. Me. Um, but yeah, that was that's what I try to do is to make it a little more unpredictable for everyone. You know, so it's not the typical people dying first. Yeah. So because typically it would be her would probably be the first to go. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, in this case, I wanted to switch everything around. Yeah. So. so, um, so what are your thoughts on like setting the film during Christmas? And, um, were you like aiming for like a Black Christmas vibe or going in your own way? <laughs> well, I think like I love Christmas horror. Like we definitely had influences from Black Christmas, especially. Um, but the look of the film, the cinematography was Black Christmas and When a Stranger Calls, the original. Um, and then I try to put my own just original writing and twist onto it. And uh, and these guys, the actors, like especially these three, had a lot of input um, when it came to lines and writing. And I don't know if you guys can go into that a little bit because I would give you drafts of the script. Now this was also back. A while ago. That's a throwback. Um, <laughs> I, I was. 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 I I don't know, I, was, I thought it was going to be a really good time. I, a lot of it was like, oh, we're going to improv some of this <laughs> with my character. We're just going to have to bang, bang some stuff out at that moment because I don't know what the hell I'm going to do for this. Your choice of words was perfect there. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang. So, so um, who did the gore effects that I did? Which were kind of funny about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, a very talented guy. Carlos Enriquez did the effects. He's from the butcher shop. Yeah. Uh, he couldn't be here today. Today, unfortunately, he's in Chile right now. Um, but uh, he did an amazing job. I, I've said before, I recommend him to anyone who wants to make a film with excellent effects. He's the most easygoing guy. He's professional. He gets everything on quick, and it looks great. Uh, he's just so patient and understanding. Yeah. You know, like it takes so long. Like the amount of time putting on all the makeup. Like he's just patient and professional. And and there'd be times he have to wait around. And yeah. yeah, he was great. The effects look awesome. So, what did describe Secret Santa as either a um, homage or spoof of slasher films, or is it both? <laughs> um, it's, I guess I would call it a, um, a homage, um, <laughs> a parody and a homage, because there are points where it does kind of mock the slasher film, especially near the end um, oh definitely near the end, near yeah. the end. <laughs> but at the same time I love them so much that it is it is, very, it is an homage um, because I, that's, that's what I grew up on that's what I love so. well I think there's like one scene in particular is um, Chris's death in the film like the killer has the hairdryer and throws it and then misses the bathtub yes <laughs> so he just picks up the dryer and bashes her <laughs> yes he does that's my favorite death yeah, yeah. that's my yeah. <laughs> Too. Yeah, it's, uh, there's definitely, we wanted to uh, keep the humor in there, um, and uh, do you know what, it just it just comes down to the story, uh, I just really wanted to create a fun, good story, and then everything just, I mean, just kind of worked out. You just want to have, like, people have a good time. Have a, have a good time, Like, this yeah. is for laughs. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. And that was my interview with the cast and crew of Secret Santa. Um, as you are listening to this, the uh, film should be now released on DVD. I'll make sure to have the Amazon link in the show notes. And uh, this is my final podcast episode for the year, and I'll be back in the new year with both interviews, and I'm going to try some other things, and I wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, all of that stuff, and good night.